manage their respective businesses. I think they have to, uh, you know, obviously they had to make cutbacks because of the increases and everything else. And I think the county needs to work with them to be able to provide service for them and, and, to, and to help them in any way they can to, um, to make their businesses flourish. Um, you know, like I said before, it's, it's tough in the economic times for a small business or any business to, to prosper. So I think it's, it's the role of the commissioners, like I said before, to, to reach out to these um, entities and uh, to let them know they're there and make them, make them feel wanted and to uh, offer services that they can. And, uh, that's it. Mr. Van Buren. We can not only talk about small businesses, large businesses in Lincoln County. Remember, Lincoln County government is one of the largest businesses in Lincoln County. We have over 1,200 employees. So when we talk about the uh, challenges that businesses face, it's the same challenges that county government and other governments throughout the county face. Uh, first thing is just staying afloat. As Brad mentioned, staying afloat, the red line trying to be above that break even point. And what can Lincoln County government do to help? First of all, we can help develop a workforce for these businesses, the businesses that come in and the existing businesses. We can work with the uh, local school districts, CTEC, and different organizations to help train the workforce. Um, we can also help with the, uh, for instance, the screen machine in Etna. They needed to bring water and sewer to their plant to expand their plant. Lincoln County government was right there beside them to help them bring water and sewer to keep them in Lincoln County. That's how we can help. We can also help with infrastructure. We just got done talking about a public-private partnership to build a road in Lincoln County and the task will bring jobs. Government can help that. Um, but there's other times when government needs to stand aside and say, we're not here to regulate you. And, th and this comes to the national government, which I can't do anything about, and nobody in this room can do anything about. But sometimes we have to back off on regulations to let the people use their their creativeness. You know, the United States, if we just put our heads together, we can solve this energy crisis. Thank you. I've got to stop. <laughs>